Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is in Greece and pushing hard for the strengthening of bilateral relations with EU members. I promise you that when I come to Greece, I will not come empty-handed. We have a lot of stuff that's going to be game changer for both both of countries and also for the whole region. That game changer, energy deals, something that Europe has been vying for, especially in light of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the subsequent cutting off of Russian energy supplies. We can provide Greece and Southwest Europe through Greece with uh, much cheaper renewable energy. Also, we are working about uh, hydrogen and how to turn Greece as a hub for Europe to uh, hydrogen. Saudi Arabia and Greece also signed agreements in maritime transport, aquaculture, waste management, culture, food and agricultural products, construction and defense technology. The Saudi Crown Prince is also planning a similar visit and the signing of bilateral accords with France later this week. The Euro trip comes less than two weeks after the headlining fist bump between Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and U.S. President Joe Biden. A signal of potential warmer ties with the kingdom since the 2018 killing and dismemberment of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi, which brought down a cloud of international condemnation on Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who was accused of orchestrating the murder, a charge he denies. He basically said that he, uh, he, he was not personally responsible for it. I, I indicated I thought he was. I said very straightforwardly, for an American president to be silent on an issue of human rights is this consistent with, inconsistent with who we are and who I am. I'll always stand up for our values. It's a precarious situation the West finds itself in, wanting to turn Russia into a pariah state over its war in Ukraine while turning to what it deemed another pariah state for help in doing just that.